Jody. Thanks for joining me. Today I want to show you how I use the new Stampin' Up! Blendabilities alcohol markers to create the background on this layer for this card that I did. I also want to point out this Flamingo is from a stamp set called Flamingo Lingo and this is the designated stamp set for this year that benefits the Rowland McDonald House charities. So when you purchase one of these stamp sets from Stampin' Up! they will donate three dollars to that charity. So let's go ahead and get started. This is a piece of Whisper White cardstock. It's just a scrap. Um, I just know it's big enough for me to put that framelit on over. So that's all you need. These are the Coastal Cabana blendabilities and I'm going to focus on the medium and dark shades. Um, if you haven't watched my other video about blendabilities, you should know that each color that we carry has three shades of light, medium, and dark and that each marker has two tips, a brush end and a more of a fine point end. So what I'm going to do is start with the brush end of the medium marker and just kind of use the side of it and gently go back and forth. And I don't need to go out to the very ends because I, I won't need all of that. Um, I just, like I said, need to be able to slide that over to cut out the flamingo once I stamp him. I'm going to go back over that a little bit, just on the bottom with the darker shade. About halfway up like that. And now when you use blendabilities, there's so many different ways you can use them, but the key is to kind of um, make those lines not super defined. So you can see there's pretty a pretty definite mark there. So what I'm going to do is go back in and just kind of blend over that a little bit. Just do some small circular motions and go back up over it just to blend it a little bit better. We just want it to be a gradual change from the darker, oops, I'm going to go back and use the brush end on that, um, from the darker to the lighter. Okay. Now it is recommended that you wait just a few seconds and let that really dry before you come in with the ink to stamp the image. You will want to make sure that you use the Memento ink. This is what you want to use with the alcohol-based marker. And so what we'll do is go ahead and stamp that flamingo onto this cardstock. So I'll go ahead and take the cover off. This is an ink pad too. Unlike our regular um, classic ink, this one the ink pad just comes directly off like this. So on my shelf, I store this upside down to keep the ink at the top of the pad. So just a quick little tip there. And then I'm just going to tap it on here. Make sure it's all covered. And then I'll go ahead and stamp that right on top of my background. And then all I would need to do is, let me get that covered, pull my big shot in with my magnetic platform. And this is from the oval framelit, so I just set that on here like this and crank it through to cut that out. So you can see um, there's just a variety and it'll look different every time you do it. So lots of fun with the blendability markers. It's just fun to color and play and see what different results you get every time. Thanks so much for watching. For daily creative inspiration, visit my blog or find me on Facebook at Jody Reinert Stamps.